So you have a new toy for me? Yes, sir, I do. Wolverine. Another Wolverine? Didn't we do about half a dozen of them this year? Won't it be hard to sell them another Wolverine? It's going to be super easy. Barely an inconvenient. Oh, really? Did I mention his skull is on fire? And here we have Weapon of Vengeance, the Helverine. I really like the concept of this action figure. I really hope the thing is worth the money. But before we do that, we have to do two things. First thing, you guys have to like and subscribe. Join the full force. I really appreciate it. The full force. It sounds a lot cooler. Before we, the other thing is let's see if this box is better than your mom's. This box better than the box he was held in. On the front, we get the Strange Tales logo. We get the build a hit figure logo in the corner for Blackheart. And we get to see the Helverine in his all his glory on the front. He does not come with a build a figure piece. We get one picture of him, which looks totally badass. So, okay. We get the same picture on the back. Boo. And, oh, there are three for three. They gave me the same three photos three times I really do love this the character design on this the Helverine is actually really cool looking but this is just kind of just lazy isn't it just I feel like Sideshow side show Bob because I'm just uh, mumbling to myself at the stupidity of this but I can already see what's in the box but let's see Oh, what's in the box? In the box, we get the Helverine and we get his two claws on his two hands with his claws on fire. Um, I'm not sure what else you would get with this. Maybe some chains because he's a ghost rider. But I, didn't, I don't know what else to give it. So I'm not going to say Mills would have shot you. He might have contemplated it very hard though because it's like, come on guys, come on. But you got what you needed, so... Definitely didn't get winged by, maybe winged by by Mills. Anyway, let's check out the design of this guy. And like I said, from the box, he looks really, really cool. But let's see how he stacks up. And you can see, I don't know if that's on purpose, but my toy has some lovely marks on his top of his head. And then... I love the fact that the way the hair, the, the flames in his face and his mouth form the Wolverine mask. So that's actually really cool. And then the rest of it is just a generic Wolverine body that we have gotten literally this year alone uh, a dozen times in 2024. In 2024, we have seen this Wolverine body 24, uh, four, at least a dozen times. At least a dozen times. So is what you expect it's the normal stock stocky wolverine body i don't know if he has hair in his form he does not he has his gloves on same thing you see with the x-men 97 logo the savage wolverine all of the wolverines are basically the same so i do really like the skull though and let's get a close-up of it and see how it looks up close and that skull looks so so cool uh everything about it looks awesome it looks like a Terminator skull with flames coming out of it. And just that alone kind of makes up for the fact that we're just putting a really cool head on the same Wolverine toy that we've gotten so, so many times before. But look at that. That is just so cool looking. And I'm just going to show you next to a Wolverine body, maybe not this year's version, but that looks just like this and that we've seen a billion one times and we can move from there. So I thought that this was the same Wolverine body again, but it's slightly different. Um, the upper torso is exactly the same as this old Wolverine. They changed out the gloves because they're a different gauntlet. And as you can see, they also changed out the boots so that his boots are actually very reminiscent of another Wolverine. He is cobbled together and they, then they slapped on a really cool looking head on him. He's actually the amalgamation of like four or five Wolverines, uh, but that is the Wolverine torso. As you can see by the butterfly joint and the way that his pecs 
make a V at the very top of it. So apparently that is the upper Wolverine torso. And depending on what legs they use, they are a little bit different. In this case, he does not have his underwear riding up like in the classic Jim Lee blue and yellow Wolverine. But he also uh, has a little bit of, actually he might be the same legs, just painted differently for or actually, yes, it's the same legs as the brown Wolverine, just painted differently, different legs, uh, different forearms. Yeah, he's an amalgamation of two or three Wolverines, but he is just, he's reuse. And they put a really cool head on it and added some nice accessories to his claws to make us want to buy it. But yeah, let's see if this guy can squat. The so Wolverine can get... 90 in his arm, like many other Wolverines, swivel and bicep, double jointed elbow, but this is pinned because like I said, he is a old body because they're trying to save money on this set, which is fine. Just, uh, it's one of those things where you get used to it. Below the belt swivel in his waist, below the belt swivel in his waist, upper thigh cut, no, oh, and he has a boot cut, nice. And swivel in his leg, yep, this is just a nice Wolverine. So that means he can squat very easily. He is a tiny man. And because he's a tiny man, I should be able to get him into a superhero landing because they gave him butterfly joints. Swish his arms over, have him crunch. And no, he cannot. Oh, and I popped his head trying to get him to look up. There we go. Cannot, but you can get him into some cool Wolverine poses if that's what you expect him to do. Um, yeah, no, not articulation, but this is the same articulation you get with most of the Wolverines. It's not anything new. It's not the greatest, but not the worst. And you know, once again, it could be a little better if they actually gave him a upper torso bowl. But what it, for what it is, it's not too bad. And let's talk money. Mo money, mo money, mo. So Wolverine goes for $25 and he hasn't sold out. And it's probably because he does not have a build a figure piece so he's not as in high demand as the rest of the figures but he is probably his sc smoking skull head smoking skull ha stone coast steve austin his smoking st skull head uh might be one of the most coolest accessories that i've seen and clearly since it's the same warring you can pop it onto any body and get the same effect let's pop him off let's put him on Let's make sure, yep, they use the same ball for every one of them. And you can put him on any head and on anybody and they'll fit because that's what Wolverine is. And this is a cool accessory. I just don't know if it's worth 24 bucks, especially since this is the only key thing you're getting with it. Um, yeah, that's a little disappointing, but cool accessory to join to add to your Wolverine collection. And then if you use the gloves and you put them on something else, in fact, you can, yeah, is is if you paint the gloves blue, then you can put him on anything, get two of them and paint them on anything. Uh, yeah, let's wrap this guy up and get out of here, guys. So the toy has a really good box, even though it doesn't blend in with the Wolverine, the Strange Tales box is actually a nice box. I still wish we put more than one picture on it, but got to maximize profits. As for the design, it's the same Wolverine, but with a flaming skull. Got to maximize profits. Can this thing superhero land? It can squat, but it definitely can superhero land. And you know why? Maximize profits. Yes, sir, that's right. Maximize profits. And for the final price, we're gonna charge $80. Isn't that a little expensive? Not, not $24. And that's a decent price, it's fair. And for the final score, I'm giving Wolverine a five out of eight. Cool accessory, but definitely not worth full price. Oh! oh, I'll catch you in the next toy review. Peace.